Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I want to show you something really cool that I've been testing out for the last couple of days and it seems to be working just fine. So what I did is I went into my website builder, which is Light Funnels in my case, but this basically works with any kind of web builder itself as soon as you can just insert a code block or just write HTML. Uh, but what, what I did is I created an HTML form, right? I asked for certain data, in this case, just first name, last name, email. And then upon the submit button, I'm firing a webhook that basically captures all the data that has been filled inside that web form and transfer it directly towards my chatbot. And within the chatbot, I can do all kinds of things with this, right? Uh, but the, uh, the main part of this video is to show you how you can implement this kind of setup yourself. So basically you don't need to have any kind of a native plugin or an integration uh, setup uh, to achieve this effect. And then to maybe even fire a webhook towards a Sapier, Make or Publi. You can do this directly towards your chatbot instead. So the way that I did this, if I go inside the page itself, and let's just see it. And here I just have one element and a custom HTML content element. And if I go inside, you will see that I, that I wrote a little bit of a code here. It's nothing too complicated. So I'll walk you through it step by step. Basically the first part is the form itself where I have my form ID I just set it to my form. Uh, just for testing purposes, you can name it anything you like, right? And then we have some labels and inputs. So we have a label for first name and that has been set to first name. Then we have the input that has been set to first name to capture the first name's input, right? Uh, we did the same for the labels and input for last name. And then basically the same as the label for email. Now at the last section, we have an input type submit. And this indicates that this is a button that needs to be submitted, right? Uh, to be submitted content data. And that is basically the end of the form. So as you can see, this is just a little bit of code and I will drop it down in the video description as well if you want to grab it. So this is the little short code form that I wrote just to be able to capture the user's details from the website. On the SSS uh, section, I just did some really basic styling and nothing too complicated. And this is the styling that I used, basically the style for the uh, my form in total. Then we have some indiv individual stylings for the first name, last name and email all set to the same exact parameters. And if we take a look, it looks pretty much like this. So again, nothing too complicated. I was just focusing on the, uh, basically the functionality of the form. So to be able to capture it and to be able to forward the data, but this is something that you can style to your own preferences. You can uh, basically create a add uh, backdrop shadows, uh, play with, around with the fonts, uh, customize the submit button and stuff like that as well, right? But for now, I just focused on the functionality of, uh, of what you see here. So I'm capturing the first name, the last name, the email, and then the functionality inside the submit button. So how did I achieve upon submitting the data to be able to capture all that data and send it over to a webhook inside of uh, inside of my chatbot. So the way that I did this, if we go back, you will basically see something like this. So we have a custom script. Basically, this is a little bit of JavaScript, right? And we are going to add an event listener. So that sounds really, really techy and developer-like, right? But if you just follow along, and again, I will post the complete code inside the video description. So no worries, you can just copy and play around with it. Uh, but basically this gives an event listener towards the submit button, as you can see here. So submit function, and this basically listens soon as something happens on that submit button, what needs to happen then? Then we are going to get the values of the form field. So for, for example, the first name, the last name, and as you can see, we capture that by going with the document got elements by ID and the ID will be the first name. And we do the same basically with the last name and emails. Now, the next part is sending the form data towards the webhook that we want to. So 
I do it I do it towards my UChat chatbot, but you can basically send it to any webhook you like. So if you have a Publi, if you have a SAP or Make, you can do so as well. Maybe you have a, you even have a CRM system that has webhooks enabled and can receive data that way. And you can basically directly send it uh, towards your CRM system of choice. Now, the way to do that, to the way to send a webhook is in JavaScript, you need to use the fetch function. And then we have the URL, as you can see here, this is my URL that I set up inside of UChat. So that is this one, as you can see. And if we go back again, we have a method called posting. We have headers uh, that is basically the only thing that we need because we want to send a JSON format. We have a header called content type and that is set towards application JSON. Then inside the body, we need to basically create the JSON string, right? So we need to convert all the data into an, a JSON array. So what we do inside of JavaScript is on the body itself, we are going with json.stringify. And then we basically copy all of these values that we just captured. So we have first name, which is the key. And then we have first name as a value that captures the value that the user submitted. Then we have a comma and we do the same with last name and email as well. Then if the response is okay, so the data has been sent successfully, we can also redirect the user back towards a certain URL. So there could be a thank you page, but you could also, for example, send them directly towards your chatbot if you like to. I just pointed it uh, towards Google just for now. And the same goes if the response is anything else but okay, I'm basically forward forwarding them to Google as well. So this is the complete script. Again, I will just leave a link down in the video description or post the entire code in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. Um, but this is something that you can play around with. And if you want that styling as well, that CSS styling, I will include that inside the document as well. So that would be this styling that we have right here. Right. So if you are unfamiliar with CSS styling and stuff like that, at least you have some basic functionality in there. So let's test this out. So let me go inside of UChat, right? And let's go and press the edit. And I'm going to listen to the data payload. Edit the data payload. So we are now basically listening for new data coming in. Let me just fill in something. Let's say this will be Mark and this will be uh, my last name. And let's go with my business email first. Go. And let's say press submit. It takes a few seconds and then we get redirected back towards Google. So let's see if we get any data in. And as you can see, all my data has come in successfully. So now I can basically connect the flow towards the webhook. I can capture and map all the individual values that I receive from the webhook as well, right? But this is working properly. So if we test it once again, so let me just go and preview this again. Let's say we're going for Jane, we're going for Doe, and let's call this Jane Doe at doe.com. Let's do that. And let's see if we can capture that again live. Let's press submit. And there we are. So let's go back inside of UChat and see if we have the new values in. As you can see, the first name Jane, last name Doe, email Jane Doe at doe.com. And you can process the data any way you like to. So this was a quick video, but I think it's a really effective one because uh, you are not depending on any kind of integrations from your web builder platform that you use, right? And you can do this by sending the data directly towards your platform of choice, the, basically the platform that you want to receive the data on, and then you can process it any way you want to. For me, it's inside my chatbot because I am into chatbot automations, but you can see how easy you can set it up by just implementing a really, cost, really easy to write custom script. Again, you can just copy the values. I will give it to you, no worries. And then you can test it out yourself. If you want me to record any kind of video regarding a topic that you would like to see implemented, drop them down in the video comments below and I will try to record it as soon as possible. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.